Oxmead, here I come. About to tear this place apart. Hello, Mr. Pippin. I wonder if he's a descendant or like a descendant because he'd be before. Descendant is after. Maybe he's somewhere in the Scotty Pippin line. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery. Kind of the wrong hue, yes, I do. But a potentially. A student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but Ooh, lately Fatima way. has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Okay. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. I just She's a talented it. potioner in her own right. I dare say Easy. I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. So wait, does it when he says look at her potion recipes, does that mean that they just have different potions or different ways of doing stuff? Huh. I wonder. I realize that I've just passed up a cat and it's tearing me apart from the inside. I'm gonna go back. Going back. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna pet the cat. Okay. <laughs> What? That's awesome. <laughs> cool. What is this? Okay, we're getting into some new territory here. This is kind of cool. What is this? These are like ruins out here. No, this is well, I mean, I guess they're kind of ruins, but they've been repurposed. Cousin. Uh oh. Must have been quite stately in his time. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. There are baddies here. Are they people or are they. Landing is unavailable right now. Why is it unavailable? Are you people or are you. Oh, they're mongrels. Uh. Oh! Okay, that was kind of. Oh, that was sick! I jumped off and I. What? Right betwixt my legs with the broom. Okay. Uh, more balloons to pop. I don't know if I. I feel like when I got that challenge for popping the balloons. I feel like maybe I should uh, put more effort into trying to pop the balloons, but I'm not really interested in popping the balloons presently. So I'm just going to go. I'm going to deliver these invisibility potions to uh, Fatima Lowang. And then I'm going to hopefully get enough to get the Maxima potion, and then I'm going to be learning some more Wonder spells. Always make that pippin. Well, delivery, Fatima. Madam Luang, Fatima? But I have a delivery I, I, I from Jay Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Oh, she's taking shots at him. Yeah, why'd you buy him? Why do you she's... keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Wait, so she's buying the potions from him only to resell them? Here are the potions what? you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his oh, customers. Oh, he did say she was difficult. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Okay, I have to become invisible. Uh, sure. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Oh, oh drink an invisibility potion. Is that going to be in here? Yeah. What is this? Recipe. Invisibility potion. 
sick. I'm invisible. She's never gonna know if it works. It seems to have oh. worked. Well. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? <laughs> Perhaps combining <laughs> your recipes and skills? <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. Gumption. If he fails on his own, Great so word. be it. I don't want, I don't need her to tell me. Well, maybe she doesn't. If she cares he about her customers, that it'll more and more customers are trying to stay out eyes. of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. That's, uh, it's forgotten. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You so do become that. become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. What do you have for sale? There's a thing in the middle here. A, that thing looks like it could hurt me. Okay, I'm just going to try and swim quickly over to this. Dive. I'm gonna pick up whatever this is. And I'm gonna go right back. Cause I don't know. I don't. It doesn't seem like I can use my. Oh, wait a second. Oh dear. I'm somewhere else now. Okay, so I was able to just just climb right under and come here. Out here. Oh, oh! Let's open this up. Is there anything of importance here? Oh, there's a, a chest with. Did that say? Does that mean that it had? There are a bunch of your slots are full, of course. Um, can I? Oh wait, no, I can. I can just uh, destroy them. Now I can collect hopefully whatever's in here. A mauve beret. Are you kidding me? I came all the way. I came all the way in here, and I got a mauve. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. It's probably going to look so stupid. And I hate it when I do this because I, I really wish that I could just, you know, tap the button and get all the way over there in a matter of seconds, but I can't. Okay, what? What? Unequip and destroy it. Did I actually just come through here for 46 galleons and a mauve beret? Is that what I did? No way. There has to be more. Maybe I can... <gasps> Let me <know> so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're just... Oh. Alright, guys. Uh, guardians <laughs> of the mauve beret... <laughs> <laughs> the mighty guardians of the Mauve Beret. Okay, well, I think that's it. Like, it's not really showing me any sort of alternate route that I can take. It's not uh, It's not really doing anything, so I'm just going to go back. Because, like, maybe at some point I'm going to have to come back here and do something. But, I mean, for now, there's nothing. So I'm just going to leave. What's here? Oh, wait, there's a page down here. I should go and just grab this quickly. Revelio. Got it. Mertlap tentacles. Mertlap tentacles are a rare potion ingredient known to raise resistance to certain dark charms and contain healing properties. An overdose, however, can cause purple ear hair. That's the most 
just specific and random side effect that I have ever heard of. You get me. You might get purple ear hair. It's better than death, though. You know, all those other things. It's like, oh yeah, you might die, but this one's like, yeah, you might get some purple ear hair, and that would be a little weird, wouldn't it? It's a good place. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? I love how he talks to me like I don't even like he doesn't know me. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very Fatima good. Luang. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Uh, yeah, she's certainly difficult. I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. Very I cantankerous. I truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. I'd like an additional fee now. It was do a that. pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take mm. care. Can I, like... Oh, a little... Hidden Herbology Corridor? Well, that's convenient, isn't it? I kind of have to get in there. I need to get a Mandrake. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lumos. Yep, get away, get away. Back off. Who do I wait here for? I made a mess of things. Cressida. What are we doing? Oh, is she distraught? Cressida, what's wrong? Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. Uh-oh. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. She... Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That's awesome. Uh, uh... Uh, yeah, that sounds amazing. brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow, I don't think the librarian will see it that no, way. No, she definitely I won't. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Okay. Yeah, why did he snitch? Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. Okay. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. That's, if you yeah. could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. This is like the third time we've had a brief conversation. She's like, oh yeah, I really need someone who I can trust to can bring them. To, uh, to get my diary. I'm your guy. Okay, well, let's just go do that now, huh? Let's get her flying book. Okay, I need to go through the door. Yep. I'm going to have to use that gear to get to the... Got it. Only four more to go. Oh, Akio! Okay, I've got two. Three. This must be Cressida's diary. Oh! I'd want this back too if I were her. I love how immediately it makes you read her diary. Today was a good day. That is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lace wig fling flies. Ugh. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He's such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions, always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Arborath? Arboroth? Arbroth 
Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. Thank you for the insight, Cresta. Appreciate it. Oh. Sweet. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Right back to Cressida. Cressida, I'm running down the stairs to come back to you. Got it. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Uh, Here you are. Wants to ask well, for lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, yeah, to work out where I went wrong, perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Yeah, that's Thank probably it. Some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Oh, I've leveled up. I can feel the power rushing through my veins. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I know you. We've talked before. This dude's He's literally just sitting here practicing Lumos. Guy looks too old to be practicing that. Lumos. Look at this guy. Look at that. Yeah. Not quite. Not quite. 